gonna crack open a cold one if you're gonna have Halloween coming up. Hi, it's the Spooky and Sweet Sew Along going on by Fat Quarter Shop. That is a free pattern and they give a block every week for four weeks in the month of June. And they've done it for the past two years. I think this is the third year. Here is the color ideas that I have. I want to do this tan as a background. You can't do white as a background because you got a little ghost. So the ghost has to be white. It has to have a contrasting color. I found this. And here is some neutrals. From Island Petite, this collection was called Country Charm. And I think that would be like an old world cool colors palette. But I also have this idea with these. What if I did neon supercharged against a dark background? So, I mean, I've been noodling on that. And I think what makes the most sense is just all neutrals for the so long. And I'm going to do the ghost block today because I have a vision on what photo I want to take for Instagram. <laughs> and I just like, I'm hyper fixated on it. Can't let it go. So I'm going to make this color. And then if I find time, I'll do the supercharged. But I think I only have time for one. And I would have to neglect some serious responsibilities to do the other one. So let's, let's get this cut up. Okay, we are ready for week one. This is the color palette and that dark blue is actually from the local motion collection from Island Boutique. I threw that in there, it worked out really well. And so assembling this first week was this little spooky ghost and I adore how it turned out with the yellow cream background. <laughs> I love him. Week two was the stars. So I've got those little browns and oranges sparkling out and these deep blues. Oh, it didn't focus there. Sorry about that. And with these dark blues, I didn't pre-wash this fabric and I'm pre-washing from now on when I have this like indigo blue in here. That's going to matter a lot. I did have some bleeding just where I press away from the blue into the light. So I followed all the pressing instructions. It was really good, made everything flat. Even those stars were super duper able to go around all the seams, but I did have some bleeding through. So, and then the last final week was the vampire, this bottom right. A lot of people think it's a Frankenstein, it's a vampire actually, <laughs> with the matching pumpkin. And I love his little dark brown cloak. And there's two layouts. That was the previous one, the wall hanging, and then this is the door banner. And I went back and forth on what I wanted to pick. And I really do think that having this more unusual size is going to work better for me. And I just, I want to put in a little clip here. I was so proud of myself. Um, Pat Sloan mentioned my, my blocks on her YouTube. So I'm going to put that in now. It, Brittany's, what fun fabric. Those are mostly batiks, including her background. That sort of caramel tan is. I got this all loaded up on my long arm. And I'm starting off with the Sway Ruler from Peace and Quilt. And this is a ruler that does three inch half circles and so the idea was that I was gonna do like orange peels all throughout that would have been a really pretty design because it kind of reminded me of bats but this particular week um, my whole family got like a flu <laughs> and I think it started to hit me on this particular day <laughs> because I did not maintain good circles I didn't get the, uh, the yeah, it really fell apart and you can see like my fabric is shifting here and that ended up making some puffy areas. So I I gave up on this <laughs> and I didn't rip it out either. I just um, went back over with really loose waves for the rest of the quilt and maybe it was kind of <laughs> just like a quick finish. I don't know. But I'm also like on a little mission to stop taking quilting so seriously for like just these overall designs because when you wash it, the quilting eats up and it, it shrinks the fabric and the batting and the quilting kind of gets shadowed away. So I just, I, this was the amount of effort I wanted to put in for this. And I, I think it still worked out really great. 
And okay, so while I was working on this, I have one more plug. Uh, Kim Jolly has her Friday free live stream on YouTube, and she mentioned my quilt too, and I was so excited, so I want to put that here. And then Brittany Fisher, this is my week two of Spooky and Sweet, and that one is Batik, so that is really cool. And here is that final door banner quilted with the binding on. And you can kind of see just these overall waves don't really take away from what I started with versus what I ended with. And this is before washing. So you see a lot of that pop. This is a polyester batting from Hobbs in here. I went with the polyester since this is just a door banner. It doesn't need to be too soft and it doesn't need to shrink a lot for it to be a bed quilting and it doesn't have to be too warm. So that is where it ended here. And then I gave it a wash. And now here is that final quilt. I mean, it, it really flattens out. You can see this hint of that quilting throughout. And right there, you can see the bleeding on the left on the star. That that's how much bleeding just from this dark and that that's it like his head here didn't bleed at all. So just keep that in mind. I, it doesn't bother me at all. But I did want to point it out because some people panic a little about it, but I, I love it. I love how it turned out.